Hey everybody, this is Chad Kaler, Herfield Agronomist for Bex Hybrids in East Central Illinois. Today is June 22nd, 2019. Uh, currently I'm standing in a field of corn, as you can see, in Iroquois County, Illinois. And just wanted to remind some folks of some things that we can, we can see pretty much every year with certain genetics and responses to the environment. So this is a, a G by E interaction where we tend to see some responses that I do tend to get phone calls on. Uh, just about every year and we've seen this for for pretty much every year the last uh, at least five years with certain genetic platforms uh, it does tend to occur in some genetic platforms a little bit more than others but I just want to describe to you what we're seeing here I have been getting phone calls on this uh, multiple phone calls on this this week and um, just kind of want to share with you what what some of the recommendations are so I don't know if you can kind of see by this video but uh, standing here we've got V7 corn. So if I if I move the camera down to the base of the plant and we start counting with the rounded tip leaf, a plant such as this, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and almost V7. So V7 corn we're in today, and so this would have been planted around April 25th, somewhere in that, give or take a day or two. So um, what I want to show you is just, uh, you know, we're seeing some, some random scattered plants in the field that currently have yellow tops to them. So I'm going to walk to one here that is showing some of this uh, yellow top. And when you drive by the field, you can typically see this pretty easy. It's scattered plants throughout the field. And what's happening is those are plants that were wrapped up in the whirl at an earlier stage. So here's another one that is showing those signs that when it was wrapped up uh, and has unfurled, it's showing the yellow top. I'm going to walk to another one down the row here, and we can see there's one right here as well. So this is not any uh, this this is not any problem with any herbicide application or any uh, tillage that was done with compaction. Any there's no nutrient issues here. Again, a big thing is it's it's randomly scattered, okay, with plants, and those are plants that were wrapped up the whirl was wrapped up so this is an example of a plant right here that is showing that whirl wrapped up and a lot of times as you can see in this video it does leave a crinkling on the leaf okay especially when it's wrapped up like that but this will develop normally this plant will it will unfurl the leaves and it, you will start to notice those plants show that yellowing but that yellowing is transient uh, temporary and will transition to green as that plant uh, absorbs sunlight so this is a normal condition for certain genetics it's environmental factor combined with genetics and this is nothing to be concerned about no management techniques are needed in this case but this is something we can see with certain hybrids a little bit more than others so just wanted to update you there folks on uh, what we're seeing here in some areas throughout East Central Illinois, nothing to be concerned about. Give me a call or your dealer or your Bex representative if you have questions regarding this or any other issues that may be popping up in your fields. Thank you again.